I'm going to do a walkthrough with you of the new Affiliate Organizer software, Affiliate File Cabinet. This is free software that I wrote to help keep track of all that affiliate information that you gather up as an affiliate marketer. If you're in affiliate marketing, I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. I would keep this information in emails and text files, even write it down on a piece of paper sometimes, and it would wind up all over the place, and every time I had to uh, go back onto an affiliate program that I hadn't worked with in some time, I'd have to hunt all over the place to find the information to log into their website, or whatever it was that I wanted to do, send them an email or whatever. With Affiliate File Cabinet, all that stuff is right at my fingertips now, and I really have this stuff organized. I spend my time marketing now. I don't spend my time hunting. Affiliate File Cabinet will let you save the information in your affiliate merchants. It'll keep the information in your websites. It'll save your domain names and where they're located. Keeps the info in your domain registrars. Many of us use more than one. Keeps the info on your web hosts. Keeps info on article directories. And then we have another category that uh, saves things like forums, search engines, just miscellaneous places that you need to log in and have that information close by. Affiliate File Cabinet is extremely easy to use. In order to add information to the various categories, all you have to do is click on the category, click the Add button. A dialog box comes up, in this case for an affiliate merchant, with uh, fields for pertinent information that you may want to store. The company, the contact, the date uh, you hooked up with the guys, phone, email, control panel URL, and that would be the uh, uh, address of the website control panel for your affiliate merchant. Your user ID and password. Uh, any commissions that they may offer. A comments section to handle anything else you may need to keep. You can see the paste buttons at the side. Sometimes it's easier to copy information to the Windows clipboard and then you can use these buttons to paste them in, into the uh, respective text box. It's pretty much the same thing for websites. Just click Websites, Add. Now you have a website name, a domain name, beginning URL, FTP URL, FTP starting directory, login ID, password, your hosting company, whoever hosts your website, and again the comments box. The website name is a, is a friendly name for you, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, the, the, you might keep track of it. The domain name, is, of course, is the domain. I might enter the first part of the domain name here. Then I can copy it and paste it. Select it. Control-C copies it. Of course, the paste button pastes it. We have the beginning URL at www. FTP URL is going to be pretty much the same thing usually, but it can be different, so you should keep this information in here. Whatever the starting directory and, of course, the other items in it. Click Add, and there it is. Domain names, to add those. You put in the domain, you put in the uh, a registrar that you're at, and you've already entered those in the other section for domain registrars. And click the Add button. To add a domain registrar, it's pretty much the same thing. You have the, the registrar company name, your control panel address, uh, your user ID password, any contact, uh, some specific person that you may be able to talk to, their phone number, their emails for support, and uh, comments again. Web hosting companies, again, just click the Add button, and uh, we have a place for the date, the company name, the host domain, that would be their main domain name, and then a control panel uh, address for wherever you're going to operate your website from. 
login ID, password, contact uh, person to, that you can get a hold of, phone number, and support email and comments. Article directories. You're going to want a date that you hooked up to the directory, the company name. Again, their host domain, their their main domain name. The address of your control panel, the login ID, your password, contact person, phone number, support, comments. Then miscellaneous logins. We have a place for a company, their home page, your login page, wherever you going to log in at, login ID, your password, contact, phone, support, email, and comments again. Editing is just as easy. Click on the section. Uh, click on the company that you're interested in. Click edit. Bingo, you've got your dialog box. You just make the changes you want to make and click edit. And of course, editing is the same for just like add for all the categories. You click on domain names, click the edit button, and, and the domain name dialog comes up. Click on websites, and there's the website dialog comes up. Another nice benefit of affiliate file cabinet is the automatic linking feature. When you have a web address entered, you can see a button with the planet Earth icon on it. In this case, it's the uh, text box labeled Beginning URL. All you have to do is press that button, and voila! A website opens up right at the address that you wanted. No copying, pasting, or typing, or anything. Just press the button, and you're right there. And there's one other thing. In the Affiliate Merchant, we've provided a place where you can add a number of uh, your affiliate links and also a number of link HTML. You click on the box and then click the Add button right beside it, and, and you can put an affiliate or paste uh, your affiliate link right in there. If you want to edit one, you just select it, press the Edit button, and there it is, and you can make any changes you like. And again, Press the link and there it goes. The other place where we have uh, a place to put extra information, more than one, is, is articles. Again, we have an add button and you can type your article in there, uh, just like that. To edit an article, all you do is you have the article you want up and you press the edit button and there it is your whole article uh, all right there for you to make any changes you like if you'd like to use the affiliate file cabinet as a bonus for your own products uh, feel free to we would like you to link to our download area if you would mostly so that your customers are getting the most current version it, it, it's a lot easier to, to keep up because we do upgrade this uh, well, usually a couple times a month. Well that's about it. Not really much of a learning curve for you. We hope that uh, you found it helpful and uh, there's the help button by the way. Get that help window over here and any information that you might need that we haven't gone over uh, is probably right in there. You can also email us at support at affiliatefilecabinet.com. And we'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas about the program, if something isn't working right, send us an email or you can give us a call at 419-424-3896. And we'd be happy to talk to you as well. Hope you find the Affiliate File Cabinet useful. And I wish you the best in your affiliate marketing efforts. Good day.